So my name is Dr. Ryan Court, and I'm here with Dr. Jennifer Lyerly, who is an optometrist, a fellow Transitions Change Agent, an outstanding blogger, and a social media expert. And today we're getting ready for back to school. We're gearing up. We're giving parents insight on children's blue light protection. For parents who may not know, what exactly is harmful blue light? So harmful blue light, you'll oftentimes see it abbreviated HEB when you're reading articles or looking at it online. Sure. That means high energy visible light. It's a little bit different than UV light, which we think about in sun damage, things like that, where you really can't see the UV rays coming down. What are a few of the main indoor and outdoor sources of harmful blue light? So overwhelmingly, the biggest, worst source of high energy harmful blue light is the sun. Tablets, cell phones, TVs, computers, LED light, all of those are sources of indoor blue light. About one hour under direct LED light is equivalent to about 15 minutes of sunlight. So the sun is far and away our biggest harmful source. So how does harmful blue light affect children's eyes and overall health? You know, as kids, we don't have any natural built-in protection from UV light or from high energy visible blue light or harmful blue light. We know that it can cause quite a few changes to both how our eyes feel and potentially even the health of our eyes. So. Um, eye fatigue, issues with light sensitivity. But there's also some data that suggests it could be damaging in high or toxic amounts of it to our soft retinal tissues in the back of the eye, um, maybe even linked with cataract or macular degeneration formation. It seems like harmful blue light has been around for a while. Why should parents be concerned about it now? So you're right, harmful blue light has been around for as long as we've had the sun. But what's new, what's different is the device use that's so prevalent in our society now. A recent study suggests that nearly three in four kids under the age of 18 are on devices at least two hours a day. Now, when we used to think, well, indoors, we're protected from that harmful blue light, now it, it, we're exposed to it constantly then too, and that added exposure to blue light from device use is really what's renewing and, and raising a lot of concerns and interest in blue light now. What lens products do you recommend to protect children's eyes from harmful blue light? I mean, think about a kid, their lifestyle. They're not gonna be switching back and forth between multiple pairs of glasses. So I want one lens that really does it all. I need it to have built-in UV protection and I need it to have light protection, but also have that nice clear lens visibility so they can wear it indoors. Absolutely. That product for me is Transitions lenses. So they're protected from blue light both indoors and out with the same pair of glasses that also fully protects them from UV light. So we've got one pair, full coverage. Dr. Lyra, thank you so much for taking the time to, to chat about harmful blue light and the, the benefits of wearing Transitions lenses. You know, for our viewers, for more information on harmful blue light and the benefits of transitions, visit transitions.com forward slash blue light. That's transitions.com forward slash blue light. Thank you.